What is up everybody? It is Rod Jitchilazik on Lightning Lloyd YouTube and I am back with a, another video um, about iMovie and editing videos. So um, I was looking back at my old video on how to brighten videos using iMovie and it got a whopping 2,000 views and I was pretty happy because um, I thought I helped out a lot of people with the video. Sadly, I do not think I actually did, um, and I think it's because the way I showed you guys how to brighten the videos was a good way, but um, I'm here to make an updated video because of the graphics problem, and also because um, using this new method and update, um, I believe the videos will come out more smoother and the brightness will show off a little bit more. So, I'm here to teach you guys and show you how to make your videos brighter and better. So, um, last video I used my TWE clip from this one TWE video I had that was pretty dark. And this is what I did. So, for now we're going to take a clip from my 5 years of YouTube video. And um, this one got pretty dark, so you could basically see... Um, how dark it is um, The trees are dark basically um, So what I showed you guys was to Let me copy and paste this real quick. Okay, so what I showed you guys was to go to video adjustment go to 200% on every um, color gain and the saturation <coughs> Then I believe I said to put the exposure to about 130 something and brighten this up a little bit now, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so, we're going to start over. So, when you have your clip ready, you want to put the gains all the way to 200 with the saturation, because, of course, you really want that color to be popping out. And instead, we are going to put the exposure to 150. Uh, you could put it to 150 to about 170, because if it goes too high, it starts to get all crummy and contrast-like. The colors don't really stand out, so... I recommend it to go from 170 to about 150. So for this one, we're going to go about 160. Um, if the video is pretty dark and you think the exposure could go more, then go for it. But I don't know how it will turn out. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so once you have it like this and exposure up a little bit, you want to click done. And you want to delete the old video because we don't want that. Uh, when you have a new video like this, um, now this is the part where I know many of you are just going to leave and dislike this video. But you want to click share and export the movie, but this is where some problems could come in. So as you see, of course, I'm on Mac and this only works with Mac. Um, I'm not able to click HD 1080p. Now, I know a lot of people have problems with this because they don't get either one of the HDs. They only get large, medium, or mobile. Now, the reason for this being is because whatever you used uh, to record the video, camera, laptop, phone, whatever, um, many of them have different settings as to how the video is recorded, like Photo Booth. Photo Booth doesn't record in HD. Um, I don't know any other videos that will record uh, HD or not, but the reason why this happens is because um, what you use to record the video. Uh, the camera that I used to record this video was actually um, a Samsung video camera, and that actually showed up in HD and everything. It was an HD camera, so that is why I believe I have this option, because I recorded it with that type of camera, Therefore, this shows up for me. Um, I don't know. It depends what type of camera you use uh, for this to come up. Uh, like I said, it only comes up if you record with a camera or I think a phone because I'm not so sure if a phone can record in uh, HD because I don't really record too much with my phone. But um, yes, um, I don't think it's possible to take a video from the internet or YouTube or photo booth and make it HD. I don't think that's possible. So yes, this only works if you are actually recording with a camera 
or on your phone, I believe. I haven't tested with a phone, but I recorded this with a camera, so I'm able to put it 720. Uh, if you get the option for 1080, please pick 1080 because it is way better. But we are going to go with 720, and that is why um, that actually happens if you have the gray. So we're just going to click export. Um, this won't show up. I already um, made one. So you want to click export and the project or the video will start publishing. And I will come right back with you guys. Okay guys, so now we are back and it seems to be finished. Um, let me switch to my event. So when the video is done publishing, you just go to your desktop and it will be right here. Um, as you see, I have two of them, but whatever you named it, it will show up like this because mine was how to write videos. It, I know it's a weird title, but it'll show up like this, dot .mov movie, and it'll be on your desktop. So you just want to take it and you want to drag it to one of your events. Um, I already have it in here, so I will be using this one. Uh, don't worry about this. That's because I already published it. Um, so this is the one that we edited without the 720. Now I will copy and paste this actually, just to show you. Um, let's go to video adjustments, refer to a original. Okay. So now I will show you the differences between these and how it has been improved greatly. <clears throat> this is the one that has not been um, edited at all. This is the one that has been edited with the old trick. And get ready. This is the HD 720. As you see with this one, uh, the background looks like blotches of like paint and stuff, like watercolor looking. With the 720, the background and everything looks a little bit a little bit more clear, and it doesn't really look that fuzzy. As you see, I could play the video. Looks pretty fuzzy in the back. Doesn't really look that good. And the original video, or the 720 video, my bad. Um, it looks a little bit more better and clearer. So, yes, that is how you brighten your videos much better. Um, sharing it and making it in HD. Um, if you have the option to share it in 1080 um, HD, like I said, it will come up way much better and smoother. Um, I don't have that option. I really don't know why. Uh, I could have sworn my camera records higher, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you have any other questions about iMovie and editing videos, please tell me because I believe this is my last video because I will be updating my Mac. As you see, I'm using the old version. Um, sadly, I am going to have to update it because these, this old version is really messing up my computer. And it's just sad to update because I really like this version, but I don't know. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the, qu uh, the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed, like the video, and share it around, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.